Hey guys, so in my last video, we went through all the latest details and leaks of the Model 3 Performance Ludicrous, and this gave us a really good indication as to what Tesla is planning for us next. Now in that video, there were some figures that may not be completely accurate, and I went into details as to why. If you guys haven't already seen it yet, definitely go check it out, because there is a lot of information as to the specs and the details of the drivetrain of the new Ludicrous model. As for the production of the Model 3 Ludicrous, we originally saw limited numbers of prototypes driving on the streets of California. This number eventually grew to the point where we're seeing the prototype vehicles all over the US and this is where you're seeing those vehicles that do have the fabric coverings on the front and the rear of the car. Now what you're able to see with this fabric covering on the Ludicrous model is uh, the new headlight cutouts. Now this isn't just simply the cutouts that you originally saw on the Model 3 Highlands. These are cut in a very specific way where it only shows a slight portion of the headlights coming out. Now obviously this is done to avoid any additional attention but there is also the front bumper that has some really massive changes like the front splitter and the air ducts on the side. This is all things that Tesla does want to hide right now so the public doesn't get a chance to see it yet. Now fortunately for us we were able to recently see the entire wraparound the exterior of the full Model 3 Ludicrous seeing the rear badge, the spoiler and the rear diffuser and then on the front of it we also got to see the full exterior changes of the front bumper. So it seems like we've already seen the full exterior of the car and it doesn't seem like there is any wiggle room for Tesla to make any additional modifications to the car as they are now prepping up for production. All of these things that we have been seeing in these leaked videos here are exactly what you're going to be getting once you order the car and take delivery of it at a showroom. Now there are a couple things here and there that we went into details in previous videos like the staggered wheel design, the new updated sports seats, and of course the new drivetrain that is the high highlight of this new upgrade. All of this is available in my Model 3 Highland playlist. If you guys want to check that out, I'll also have a link in the description below for that. But there is a ton of information if you guys want to get the latest scoop on everything Model 3 performance. So now let's talk about the most important thing here and the subject of this video and that is when you can be expecting the new Model 3 Ludicrous to be announced and available to order. Just late last year, Tesla's chief engineer in Australia, Daniel Ho, has given us some really good insight as to what we can be expecting with the new Model 3 performance and what we should be seeing in terms of timeline. First off, this can be quite contradicting as Daniel confirmed that their top of the end line model is continuing the performance moniker rather than switching to anything else. Of course, we've been seeing the ludicrous term float here and there, then we eventually saw it in the leaked footages, but now we are seeing the term references to ludicrous inside of Tesla's very own site and parts catalog. So I would say that it's safe to assume that they will be calling it the Model 3 Ludicrous rather than the Model 3 Performance and what they had planned earlier has completely changed and now they are calling it something it deserves. In addition to this, Daniel has given us a timeline and that timeline doesn't seem to be working out very well. They had originally said that Q1 of 2024 is what we can be expecting but as we are leading up to the end of March, it seems like they are going to be pushing it further down. So now this really only makes us question what the delay really is and as every part and every design has practically been leaked and revealed, it doesn't seem like they are planning for any additional modifications or changes to this car as they are very late in the game and they are preparing for the production. The real only possibility here that I could think of is for the regulatory approval to happen within all the countries they are planning to launch this new model. As we've also seen the latest certification for the Model 3 Ludicrous in the country of Korea, they are going through extensive testing for noise, emissions, and real world range. This is a very extensive process and being that this is a fairly large upgrade in terms of the power, performance and drivetrain, there is a lot to be done before they get okay from each and every country. So if I had to take a guess here, the design and production of the Model 3 Ludicrous was so last minute that they've only recently applied for the certification in each country and are waiting for the word okay back. Now if this is true or not, there is one really good thing about all this 
this and that is the fact that Tesla has a lot of additional time to really test the vehicle out and really perfect its design and Tesla has done exactly that they have expanded way outside of just North America they are now testing in Europe and parts of Asia we are starting to see the Model 3 Ludicrous prototype all over the world right now and this is where we're going to be seeing the very best designs and the very best production of this new model so yeah if I had to revise my timeline here I would say that they are going to announce sometime in late March to April and the production and deliveries are going to happen a few weeks after that. Now this is very conservative and I would say that it could possibly happen even earlier than that but there is also a chance that they are going to take a very long time with all these certification approvals and that may extend all the way until June. Now it may seem like my timeline is sort of ongoing but I'm just on the same boat as you guys and as long as I'm not in the Tesla marketing team I am pretty much in the dark. I will keep you guys as updated as possible as soon as I hear any news regarding the Model 3 Ludicrous and practically anything else. So definitely stick around and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Now fingers crossed here as we still have two more weeks inside of the month of March. So if there is an announcement, you guys will definitely hear it here on this channel. This should pretty much wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.